In this episode of Food Chain TV, I visit Dallas, Texas, birthplace of life-changing inventions such as the frozen margarita and what we know today as the computer microchip. I've come to this city to get some inspiration for Tex-Mex cuisine and get a taste of the local fare. Looking around, it's no secret that Texans love their beef. When they say beef around these parts, they mean Texas Longhorn cattle. And when they say barbecue, they mean brisket. And when you put these together, they mean business. So, if you love beef, you definitely don't want to miss this episode. I'm here in the middle of Elm Street in Dallas, Texas. This X below me is the exact spot where JFK got shot the first time. If you look down the street, you'll see the second shot marked with another X. This is a very sobering sight. And before I get hit by traffic myself, I better get out of here. With so much rich history here in Dallas, it's hard not to get caught up. But I'm here for one thing, and that's to have a little taste of what this city has to offer. Now when you're in Dallas, one thing you really want to try is some really good barbecue. And I'm here at one of the most renowned places in the city, Sammy's Barbecue, to get myself some smoky delicious brisket. The word barbecue means different things to different people. Here, however, it means beef, and more specifically, beef brisket. The pitmasters here at Sammy's have been smoking perfectly tender, juicy, and delicious beef for decades. And their secret? It's simple. You cook it low and you cook it slow. And if you think the beef brisket is good, people line up to get their hands on the chopped beef. Prepared skillfully by a half chef, half ninja, these juicy morsels of smoky, peppery beef are blanketed by Sammy's secret recipe barbecue sauce and served, no frills, on a toasted hamburger bun. Add some southern dishes like baked beans and Aunt Glenda's potato casserole and you have the recipe for a very successful restaurant. But enough looking, it's time to put the beef to the test. Now this is what really makes me happy when you come to a place and you know and they have this food that they're known for. Like here in Dallas, uh, it's obviously brisket and I'm, I'm loving this, it's really good. Mm. You know, it's like just so tender and chewy and smoky, like all the good things that you want out of like a barbecue dish. I'm gonna take home like 50 pounds of this stuff. Before I leave, I'm invited into the kitchen by the owner of Sammy's Barbecue for some pecan pie. So Marshall, this is your family's secret recipe pecan pie. I can't wait to taste this, it looks amazing. That's grandmother's recipe, brother. I'm willing to give up exercise for this. <laughs> This is awesome. Well, well, I'm glad you came in. So brother. Thank come you very much anytime. for having me. You come back I'm anytime. stuffed. This place is awesome. I cannot wait to see what else Dallas has to offer. Before I knew it, my three days in Dallas came to an end. You know, Texas, uh, I found out, is very many things when it comes to food. Uh, obviously, I came down here thinking that there was going to be uh, just this whole big Tex-Mex experience that I was going to get all this inspiration from. But it's just so much more than that. I mean, I've had really good French food down here, I've had really good Vietnamese food down here, and I found that this place is kind of a melting pot for really good cuisine, which is something that really, really surprised me about Texas. Now there is one thing that I will be taking home, and there obviously is this underlying thing about Texas, and that obviously is their beef. If you ask Texans what barbecue is, they'll tell you it's brisket. As you can see here, we're actually in the stockyards in Fort Worth today looking at these beautiful longhorn cattle, which is kind of like the symbol for Dallas, Texas. And uh, anyways, this has been a fantastic food trip. I've gotten a lot of inspiration from this and I'll see you in the kitchen. For more videos, recipes, and articles, visit foodchaintv.com. This program is brought to you in part by Kenmore. Cookmore.com, a dash of inspiration, a taste that's all yours. Yeah, 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 yeah.